Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I thought I'd do an episode because I got some finished objects I want to share with you. Uh, so this would be episode 155, I think. <laughs> so everything I talk about will be linked below. The patterns, my Christmas tree is poking me in the back. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got a lot of finished objects and I don't have any whips to show you because <laughs> the only whip I'm working on right now is my Christmas blanket by Maria's Blue Crown. So some of the finished objects I have is part of that, <laughs> part of a whip. But yeah, so first I have four amigurumis done from um, all of that stringy ding ding. Uh, let's see here, two two patterns I got from her website and one is from her book. So yeah, so first my turkey. I, j I was working on this the other day and I sh showed it with y'all, <laughs> but it is done now. It's gonna be for my sister. So there's, oh, what's on his back? Oh, that's just a piece of yarn from where I uh, stuffed yarn ends in there. He's kind of poking out. <laughs> But yeah, so here's my little turkey. So he's made with mostly red heart, except the, the orange. The orange is um, Premier Just Yarn from the Dollar Tree. But I know it's Cafe Latte, uh, Coffee, Cherry Red, Patty Green, or Hunter Green, I can't remember. And this is like a gold color, I just can't remember what it's called. And then the orange is that uh, Premier Yarn. He's a really cute little pattern and he works up quick. He's made like a rag doll, so you make him, in, him in two pieces and his tail in two pieces. And then you stuff them and sew them together. Well, sew them together and then stuff them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he's cute. I made this for my sister. She's the one in our family who celebrates Thanksgiving. She hosts our dinners uh, every year. So I make stuff like this for her. <laughs> Cause I don't decorate for Thanksgiving. I go from Halloween straight to Christmas. <laughs> but uh, there it is and it's cute, I love it. That is a free pattern on Olive's website. And you can also buy the PDF if you want to. I'm getting all kinds of notifications. Right in a row, I don't know why. <laughs> and then these next two little amigurumis are also a free pattern on her website. And right now she's hosting a crochet along with this pattern. So you can get the PDF for free and you can also enter a photo of it to uh, try to win some prizes. But it's her jellyfish. So I made two of these, here's one of them. The other one's legs are kinda, cause I had them setting on their bottoms. Their legs are kinda squished up. But there they are, super cute. I made this with a scrap ball of a mandala ombre cake. Can't remember what the color is, but I made something out of it. <laughs> and then I had like a scrap ball left. So I just made these. These are super easy too. Uh, the jellyfish is made in one piece, including this ripple part, it's crocheted on there. And then you do have to make the little tentacles separately and sew them on, but it's really easy and quick. I made both of these in the same setting uh, one night and just got safety eyes in them. Super cute. And again, that's free for right now on her website. I'll link both of these direct links down below so you guys can check them out if you want them. Now this last one is another all of it stringy ding, ding uh, pattern, but this is in her book that just came out that I posted a video about reviewing and giving away a copy. And uh, you'll probably see a lot of stuff from that book pop up re uh, like recently. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is a crab Jesse wanted me to make. So I finished him up yesterday while Jesse was at school and gave it to him when he came home. And he actually slept with it in his bed last night. I had to go find it <laughs> in there. But here's the little crab. There he is. I finished his legs. That's all I had to do yesterday was the six legs and then sew it together. So I did that. I finished him up. He's so cute. And I put a little smile on there. I can't remember. Yeah, I think I did that last. So he's so cute. Jesse loves him. He played with him yesterday and then he slept with him. And, uh. I'm gonna make some more stuff out of that book. I'm thinking, I think the next thing I make is gonna be either the fish or the seahorse. I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's just cute. It came out so cute. I love him <laughs> and Jesse loves him. So yeah, that's all the amigurumis I got done this week. <laughs> uh, it's a lot and it's all by Olive, but uh, that's okay. She makes the cutest patterns ever. So uh, you'll be seeing a lot of her patterns, I'm sure for me, because I wanna go through that book and make a lot of them. And uh, I'm sure she'll be putting out some Christmas patterns soon she usually does <laughs> so I'll be looking for that all right my next finished objects is just squares for my Maria's blue crown Christmas blanket I'm slowly working on it um, I finished the squares for week four but I still need to make the appliques I was gonna do it yesterday the yarns actually back there on my table <laughs> I just uh, I pulled out all the yarn but then I ended up getting busy with house stuff and didn't get around to sitting down and making any of them but I'm gonna maybe do that today I don't know <laughs> But yeah, so all I had to do for it is make four of the green squares, which I did. This is Patty Green by Red Heart. So there's four of those. 
And then I had to make four of the Erin color squares. And I did that. These are both Red Heart Super Saver Erin, but they're slightly different colors. And I know yarn does that, you know, dye lots and stuff. So, but I'm, I don't care because they're going to be mixed up on the blanket and it's not going to be like a big deal. But when I make the reindeer appliques, they'll be going on these uh, brown squares. And then I'll be done with week four and can move on to week five. So maybe I'll try to do that today because I need to hurry up and get that blanket done if I'm going to get it done for Christmas time this year. But it's not like a big issue. But that is a free pattern on Maria Blue Crown's website. Uh, you can also purchase the PDF of the whole blanket together. It's like $15, I think. But um, it's a big pattern. It's got a lot of... Uh, information so it's a big old pattern when you buy it all right my last finished object is a hat for my nephew my sister sent me a pin with this hat on it and asked me if i could make it for her son because he wanted a hat at first he was wanting a different one i can't remember what the first one was he wanted I'm trying to think but i can't now i'm spacing <laughs> so and then she sent me this one later and this is a character off of a video game called fortnite i know of the game but i don't know much about it <laughs> but uh he apparently really loves it so it's called Fortnite Drift Hat by Crochet with Melanie. It, it was a free pattern and here it is. <laughs> it's kind of a pain in the butt. It had a lot of pieces that involved being sold on and being sold in the right place and stuff. And it, I'm, I'm afraid I didn't do it right, but I guess he'll judge it when he sees it. But um, it's a cat, I'm assuming. It looks like a cat and it's got, I like the colors. It's red heart, uh, white and black. Actually this black is, um, Premier Just Yarn, because I'm still using up a ball of that. And then the pink colors is, uh, the bright pink is Red Heart Hot Pink, I think. And then there's a there's a pale pink in here. I don't know if you can see it, because the white's kind of washing it out. But um, it is perfect pink, I think. And then the gold is some Red Heart Gold. I can't remember what it's called. And I think that's all the colors, yeah. So the ears are stuffed. They're made separately. So the ears are separate. These three pieces are separate. These two pieces are separate and the eyes each have two pieces. And then the nose. <laughs> it's a lot of sewing and I, I just did it like that. <laughs> Cause for my nephew, I didn't do it like fancy or anything. But uh, this this doesn't fit on my head. It's too little for my head, but too big for Jesse. So it should fit him cause he's 10. And um, so hopefully it'll fit him good enough. And I hope he likes it. It looks a lot like the picture, <laughs> but I don't know the character. So I don't know how well it looks like the character, but hopefully he likes it. I'll, probably be giving that to him in the next day or two they might come to my town tomorrow I got a whole bunch of stuff I gotta give her <laughs> that's usually how we do if she comes to my town I give her a bunch of stuff that I've been saving for her and then if I go to her town it's she does it the same way so yeah that's all my finished objects the only active whip I got going right now is my Christmas blanket uh because I haven't started another amigurumi I was looking at Olive's book this morning and trying to figure out which one I wanted to start <laughs> so and it's coming down to that fish and the seahorse because I saw Llama Mama Kayla made both of those and it made me want to make them. So, um, I don't know. I have to just figure it out. But tomorrow I have a doctor appointment uh, for uh, the OB and it's the glucose testing. So I have to drink that horrible <laughs> uh, glucose water and then go to my appointment and I have to sit there for a while until it's time for them to draw my blood and test it and then uh, I might have, you know, if I fail that first one, I'll have to do the longer one, which I hope I don't fail because that would suck. But I want to take a whip with me there that I can work on in the waiting room because I'm going to be by myself. Jesse will be in school. Devin will be sleeping because he has to work. And my mom might have to pick up Jesse because at the time of my appointment might uh, interfere with school getting out. It depends on if I fail <laughs> the one hour test or not. But um, so I want to take something mindless with me. That's not an amigurumi, so I don't need to take, like, stuffing and safety eyes and stuff. So I pulled out this Manila Ombre that's been in my stash for a while. Let's see here. It's called Balance. I love the Manila Ombre cakes. They're so pretty. I have this one left, and I have a purple one left. Because I had that green one that I used to make these guys and something else with. I can't remember now. It's been a while. <laughs> and I also had some or uh, orange and pink one that I made a little sweater for June. I still haven't put buttons on that. I gotta do that. <laughs> but so I pull this one out and I'm gonna look for like a hat or something. I don't even know. I wanna look for something to make with this just so I can have something that's um, mindless to work on while I'm sitting there waiting. Cause I have to, my appointment's at one. I have to drink that glucose stuff at 12 and then go ahead and drive to the doctor and then have to sit in the waiting room until my appointment time. And then they'll pull me back to draw my blood. And then I have to wait for the results of that plus the regular doctor appointment behind that. So it's gonna be a while. I'm gonna be there for a while. Um, so I need something to go to take with me. 
So if you have any suggestions for what I could do with this cake of yarn, <laughs> uh, leave it down below because uh, I just I just wanted to pull something out of my stash to use and this is pretty. <laughs> so uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna make, but I want something that's kind of easy. Maybe something I could print out and take with me that's just like a page long of a uh, pattern, nothing like too complex. So this will be a whip maybe or a finished object if it's a hat <laughs> um, next time. And yeah, I'm gonna try to use up some more of my uh, multicolor yarns like this because back here I have a shelf with a bunch of them on it and I'd like to clear that shelf off to use it for living room stuff because in the living room but uh yeah I'll have to pull it out ball at a time and <laughs> make stuff with it but anyways so if you have any suggestions for what to do with this it's a size four and uh there are 344 yards in here so leave me some suggestions if you have any for something that I can work on in the waiting room but that's it as far as whips I, I will start at me and I, I think I'll start them little appliques here in just a little bit when I get this video done because uh, I don't I can't even tell what time it is. It's a little after 12. <laughs> I don't have much to do today. I already got my orders packaged up this morning. I'm going to drop them off uh, Saturday. The reason I'm waiting for Saturday is because there's still a few bags in the shop and I was going to wait and see if they sewed so that I can drop them all off at once. My tree's still poking me in the back. <laughs> and uh, I did laundry, some laundry. I need to figure out something for dinner, but that can, you know, it's not like important <laughs> right now. I already cleaned a little bit of the house this morning. So I don't really have anything pressing to do right now. So I'll probably just sit and watch TV and crochet maybe. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna start working on some more bags soon. I gotta figure out what kind I'm gonna make. Um, Cause I figured it out. I know some people want totes right now, but I don't really wanna make the big totes. And I don't wanna make any of the zipper totes <laughs> right now because those are so annoying. And I just don't have the energy to deal with the big zippers right now. But I don't know we'll figure it out <laughs> and yeah so I guess that's about everything for this episode I don't have any much else to share <laughs> I let's see here tomorrow's my appointment I'm gonna vlog tomorrow I'm gonna try to I, I make no promises because sometimes I plan to vlog and then I forget to actually do anything all day and then this weekend Devin is off so we might get into some stuff this weekend and I don't know it's getting close to Christmas time so some Christmassy events will probably start popping up our Christmas parade is on December 11th I'm looking forward to that because uh, I didn't do one last year so that's gonna be fun let's see her that's a day that Devin's off so that'll be fun too I'm, I'm glad that it falls on a day because we had a Veterans Day parade Saturday and Devin worked so we didn't get to go to it and it bummed me out <laughs> but that's okay speaking of Veterans Day happy Veterans Day and thank everybody who has served for your service and for people who had family members who served for uh, all their services and uh, over the years and keeping our freedoms the way they are. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. I'm sitting here right now and I'm looking, I got a bunch of yarn over here I need to use up. Cause it's just kind of piled there and some of it's been sitting there for a while. Like what's the point of having it if I'm not using it? And I could be storing other things in those shelves. <laughs> so I need to use it up. But yeah. I don't know what to make of this. I was thinking a hat, but then I'll have yarn left over. I wish I was better at picking patterns that used up the whole yarn. I'm really bad at uh, just having scraps and then my scrap bucket gets full and then I have to make a scrap project. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. If you have any suggestions, I will definitely check them out because I want something that's going to be easy for me to work on while I'm sitting there by myself. I hate that I have to go by myself, but uh, Devin will be sleeping for work. Jesse's will be at school and my mom can't come with me because she might have to pick up Jesse. So I'm just going to be sitting there by myself. <laughs> uh, with that sugar in me waiting to go get poked mm. oh well my next appointment will have ultrasound so i'm looking forward to that except they're every two weeks now and two weeks from this friday is the day after thanksgiving so it's going to be different because <laughs> i highly doubt they're going to be open that weekend um so it'll either be earlier than thanksgiving or past thanksgiving which kind of sucks but um i don't know we'll see <laughs> it'll be when it is i guess and i'm getting closer to when it'll be every week that I'll be having appointments so it's getting there <laughs> I only got I'm 27 weeks uh, today yesterday 27 one so there's like 13 weeks left if that <laughs> uh, we all it, me and Devin and even my doctor think it's gonna be sooner than that because of things that's going on so I don't know it's getting down we got we got everything mostly prepared that she, she's gonna need I don't have any diapers or anything yet I do have some wipes that was gifted to us because um, I don't know if she's going to be sensitive to anything. So when she's born, we'll just try out some brands and see 
if she has any sensitivities. D Jesse never did to diapers or wipes, but he did to formula. He had he ended up having to be on soy formula, which sucked because it's like one of the more expensive ones. <laughs> I'm hoping she can just take regular formula so that we can get you know not the crazy expensive cans. But um, yeah, so we're ready. I still have all that money on the Amazon uh, registry that was diaper. What's it called? Diaper fund diaper fund <laughs> that people gifted i think there's 75 dollars on there now that people have gifted um i got it saved on there for diapers what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna figure out once she's born we'll figure out what brands she works good with and then i will order some you know a bunch of them <laughs> through there yeah i'm blabbing now <laughs> and anyways all the things i talked about will be linked below if you want to check them out and uh yeah i guess that's it i'm gonna hop off here now because <laughs> i don't want to just sit here and blab forever but i will see you guys in another video Bye, guys.